So this episode of Coffee Cup Reflections is in memory of my dad because he died on Wednesday last week, which was January 3rd, 2024. For so many people, for so many valid reasons, the word dad is not a pleasant word. My relationship with my dad was not without complexity from time to time, but I don't want to take for granted that I had a dad who undoubtedly loved and supported me. If I talked about all of the different ways he loved and supported me, this video would probably be way too long. So I'm just going to talk about the ways he supported me musically. From the day he died until right now, I've had the intro of the song Saturday in the Park by Chicago stuck in my head because dad would play that on the piano in our house and I loved it. I loved to hear him play that. That's probably just one of the many things that sparked my interest in music in the first place. There's no telling how many cello recitals and concerts he attended from the time I was in elementary school all the way through college. My parents got me an electric guitar for Christmas when I was in sixth grade and I remember taking it into the music room, plugging it into the tuner, not knowing what open strings on a guitar were supposed to sound like. I just turned the tuners until I had a green light on every string. It was completely wrong and my dad knew. My dad came into the music room pretty excited for a chance to help me out and he sat down at the piano and said, I can help you tune. This is how my band used to do. I used to give the guitarists all their strings and they would tune to the keyboard and for whatever reason I just didn't think I needed help, didn't want help. He didn't make me feel bad about it. He patiently waited for me to realize a few days later that nothing was making sense and chords were not sounding right because I hadn't tuned the guitar correctly. I was in a metal band and part of high school and college and one time we played the Spartanburg County Fair on the family fun stage. My dad was one of maybe five people in the bleachers that showed up. I remember him having a conversation with me after that show just saying, you know, Jay, I think it would be more effective if you'd, if you'd explain the lyrics before and after the song because the screaming, we can't understand what you're saying. But he was there. In 2013, I started to get pretty serious about studio equipment and I had my eye on something called an Orion 32. And I happened to mention it to my dad sometime in the fall, I guess it was. And on Christmas morning, I'm opening this box and it's an Orion 32. The gear nerds might know what I'm talking about. For those of you who have no clue what I'm talking about, let me just say it this way. Based on a passing comment, my dad surprised me with a $3,000 piece of equipment that became the backbone of my recording studio for 10 years. Dad would invite me to lunch a lot and we would go to a restaurant near the studio so that I didn't have to miss too much work. He understood how much I was trying to get done. I wasn't able to make the very last lunch that he invited me to, which um, is not fun to think about. But I got to see him a lot over the holidays and it was great. He was an architect and he liked to discuss the similarities between that and music production. And there are a lot, by the way. I am where I am in large part today because of my dad. Now I'm gonna try to play the intro of that Chicago song I talked about. If you are a diehard Chicago fan, Give me a break. I don't play keys and I learned it for this video. So shut it. Here goes nothing. Ooh, I was so close. Ugh, one more. Wow, okay. <laughs> Breathe, you gotta be loose. This thing is so hot. My dad bought me this, by the way. He knew I loved flannel. Thank you, dad. Here we go. It's not gonna get better than that. Oh, that drop was cold. That's it. Thanks for watching. Love you, Dad.